Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. Doing a little bit, I mean same but different. Um, it is the citywide garage sales for Belleville and we've never actually done this before. So, we figured it's technically started today. We're gonna see how this goes. Usually garage sales around here start on Thursday or Friday and it is currently Saturday. We got a little road dog who's already napping. Um, on our way to find the first garage sale, which I believe we're about to pull into. Ooh. All right, let's check this out. Granny Square. Ooh, right off rip, I see a quilt. Funny thing is, it like doesn't look like anybody's even here. These are the kind I love too. This one's got some damage. I don't see a price. This one's also got damage on the ends. I think this stuff was just left out all night. Can you guys see all the water on that? I can check the free boxes though. Is it supposed to be like a lamp? I don't get it. Dog costumes. <laughs> she's she's a little leery about dogs, which I think is funny. She likes quiet dogs. She does not like when dogs bark at her or bark in general. Mostly kid stuff. Of course, Rich still finds something. Paid a quarter for its I guess 1963 concept for the Mustang. The fact that he knew that is beyond me. Oh, he tricked me. It says it right on the bottom. <laughs> I like this area because there's so many apartment buildings literally built on the water. That's the lake. Wow, well, that's actually in really good condition, but they want 40 bucks for it. First purchase, bought a copy of Lizzie's story, Stephen King for 50 cents. It's not a high dollar one, but it'll work. We found a church rummage sale. They're doing like a $5 fill -a bag thing. So, I don't know, I'm gonna peruse this area. I wish that was a frame and not a mirror. I would have made a cool frame for a spider web. She said that they were open tomorrow too, so everything's pretty well gone through, I think, at this point. I did just pick this one up recently, so I have it listed already. Hmm, I'll take that one though. We'll see, not for five dollars, but if I don't find anything else, I won't get it. If I do find something else, then I'll come back. Those are pretty. I need like black velvet for spider webs. I don't know what I did. I had black velvet and I don't know what I freaking did with it. I like stuck it somewhere now I can't find it. the 
Yes. That's a possibility that might work. Hmm, let me look at it. Mm, it's got a chip on the ear. With it being the second day, there wasn't really a ton of stuff for resale, but I did load up on black velvet for the spider webs. So, I mean, now I don't have to find where I stashed the other one. I got quite a bit, and I did go back and grab. I ended up grabbing the Paris apartment again and that other book, Night Shift, I think. So that's that was our $5 bag. Oh, I love these. Look at the donkey. Oh, man. They got part of the Odd Thomas series, but I don't know which ones I need. I think I have all those. I swear Leona is just a walking billboard for the rescue she came from. She's just a ham. Oh, wow. This is a huge freaking sale. I don't even know where to start. I need to stay away from that kind of stuff. I read this. Oh my god. What a fucked up story. Truly. These two are seriously like the cutest cats ever. I have never in my life seen two cats more bonded than these two. <laughs> she just absolutely loves her brother. You guys are too cute. Gritch is unloading the um, van right now. <laughs> we did pretty good today. This is our haul. It's not a giant haul, but it's a good haul. We spent 60, well, I think $59 total. This is all just fabrics. Yeah, oh, and a t-shirt, I forgot. I did grab this t-shirt. I think I'm gonna stick this in the booth. It's just got a great graphic on it. For a filo egg sale, why not? Um, probably put like eight bucks on it in the booth. And then, Rich got a hoodie that's in here too. Oh yeah, I got this, <laughs> I forgot about this t-shirt too. Another booth tee. It's just a, like Guns N' Roses. It's not a parody, but what's it called? Like, it's not a legit t-shirt, but I don't know if we can stick that in the booth for five bucks. The rest of this is fabric. I got these two bowls, which are Pyrex. I don't know what they're worth, but I paid literally $2 for both the bowls. So, bonus. Um, my mother-in-law got this for Leona. It's a little jacket and it fits her like perfectly right now. Um, she was wearing it running around at Grandpa's. It was so stinking cute. I got this set of ceramic garlic cloves. I paid two bucks for it. I think the last one I sold for 20 or 25 so I should do okay on that. I got Stephen King Lis Li 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 Lucy's Story. I did end up grabbing the Paris Department even though I already have it because it was a fill bag sale. And The Night Shift by Alex Finley, which I believe I've heard good things about even though I've not currently read it. Rich got Stevie Ray Vaughan and Rush. I'm a big fan of Rush. And this Audio Technica turntable, which isn't anything his, you know, his new, like, usual, but it was five bucks. And we live right by U of M. So, that definitely can go to a college student for 30 bucks and 30 or 40 bucks, call it good. And this is his, like... Facebook Marketplace find. We were on our way home. We were at Kroger getting dinner groceries. He's like, hey, we're going to run around the block real quick. <laughs> like... Sure, why not? So this is the first Kenwood? The very first Kenwood solid state receiver. Yep, it's called a 60BU. 40 for it. I think it was, we're still kind of looking at 
what it's worth, but we're thinking between two and three hundred. Right, yeah, about two, three hundred dollars. So not bad for a forty dollar investment. And also not bad for like Saturday sales. And I'm really excited about all of the spider webs I can do with that fabric. Um, yeah, I think Rich can flip this pretty quick. That, those usually sell pretty fast. So yeah, not too shabby for a Saturday. Now sold. Alright, I had to look up this guy. It is a Douglas Plush 3818 Orly, O-R-L-I, Sea Serpent, 20 inch dragon. Whew. Now, this was a freaking bins find. It was a really good bins find. Um, has the tags. They're sold out everywhere, I guess. I listed them like a month ago for 40 bucks. I ended up getting a $32 offer on eBay and uh, sold them for $32 plus the cost of shipping. And it is now that time of year where Stephen King books are selling pretty rapidly. Sold the Regulators by Richard Bachman, which is Stephen King. And uh, this went for $10 plus cost of shipping on our Oddities Etsy. Also on our Oddities Etsy, also Stephen King Dreamcatcher. I don't know why this is the hardest freaking book on the planet to sell. Not on the planet, but as Stephen King books go, this one was extremely hard to sell. I have so many copies of it, I don't even pick it up anymore. But this one sold for $8 plus cost of shipping, like I said, on our Oddities Etsy. This is a really good sale. It's hard to see because it's been folded up, but there is a clown. This is two-sided, so it's white with the yellow clown, yellow with the white clown. And the tag was kind of chewed up. But there was enough of it there that I've determined this is a San Marcos um, vintage, uh, like, toddler blanket, baby blanket. And this sold for 50 bucks. This was a bins pickup, so I have maybe $2 invested in this. And it sold for $50 plus the cost of shipping on our regular Etsy page. So, like I said, this is a really good sale. I'm really happy about this one. Well, that didn't last long at all. Quick flip, $5 into 30 He got paid via Venmo? Oh, no. Venmo. So he's just going to stick it out for a porch pickup. Taking a little break from work. <laughs> These two mugs are two of the ones that we picked up thrifting on Friday. Uh, I had this one tagged for $8. I was going to take it to the antique booth. This one I was going to list for 25 on, like, the sites. But my friend Lynn, my friend... My friend's mom, Lynn, wants both of them, so I'm going to sell them both for $25, and we're going to drop them off to her on our way to go hit a trail with Leona. So, on that note, I'm going to sign you guys off. I'll see you on the next. Bye!